Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today is Monday the 30th of March. Yeah, and it is day five in quarantine, so you were lucky that I even knew what the day was today. It is my first day of, well, it's our first Monday of quarantine. Well, is it, we're gonna call it quarantine or we're gonna call it isolation? We're gonna call it lockdown. We'll call it lockdown because I feel like that's the word they're using in New Zealand. So it's our fifth day of lockdown and it is my first day of proper university online. So I have no idea how today is gonna go. In terms of my university timetable, I have nothing on until 11 and then I have a two hour marketing lecture and then I have an hour gap and then I have a one hour language and context or sociolinguistics lecture. So, yeah, sounds like fun to me. No, it's actually good fun. I actually love uni. But before then, I have some stuff that I also need to get done. Starting with a workout. <laughs> so if you guys follow Sarah's day, you'll know that she's doing her eight-week Sweat It to Shred It program from scratch. I have done this before, but I've only made it to week six, and that was, like, end of 2018. And when she said she was doing this, I'd already planned to start it this week, and I was like, Nah, no excuses Emma, this is perfect. So I woke up at half past seven this morning and it's now, <laughs> it's nearly eight o'clock but I was just chilling on my phone in bed because I was like nah, I need to like wake up before I can actually like even consider being able to exercise. So that is the situation there but I don't know where I'm going to do this workout. I've got like my exercise mat but I don't know whether to do it. Normally I literally did the first six weeks just on like this tiny floor space in my room which is like one and a half meters wide and like three or four meters long so I think I could do it here otherwise our garage could be a go I don't know obviously the first four weeks I will be doing in isolation so that's gonna be fun when I go back and see oh enough for this four weeks I'm gonna be ripped as no jokes but I need to stop procrastinating and actually like get on with this All right, set up in the garage as you can see, it's a, yeah, slight mess. Anyway, got the workout there, drink bottle, speaker, phone, which I'm gonna use. The Suzy Timer app, because Sweaty Shredder, so I'll use that one. Time to do some exercise, you guys always ask me what I do for exercise, and I don't do anything. So this is me actually doing exercise. I've never owned a gym membership in my life, so I think I may consider buying one after this, but stay tuned to find out. Let's do this workout. <laughs> These are like jelly. That is day one of the exercise thing. Oh my gosh, my legs are like giving way as I walk. That was like a massive legs day thing. Oh my gosh, I can't walk. Hang on, I have to go up the stairs. This could be a laugh. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> It's walking a straight line that's hard. I feel like I'm like drunk or something. Not that I've ever been drunk, but I assume that's what it feels like. I was gonna have breakfast straight after my workout, but you know how when you work out and you like, just feel like exhausted and you don't really feel like, you feel like if you ate something you'd be sick. Well, I feel like that right now. So I'm gonna have a shower and wash my hair as well because I think this is the fifth day since I last washed my hair. So I really should do that. I will check in with you guys when I'm having breakfast. Okay, never mind. scrap that. I'm going for a walk with my parents, which is going to be like around 5k. My legs are going to be like absolute, I thought they were like jelly now, but they're going to be like jelly after this, so let's go. So as you can see, I am back from the walk. I've had a shower, shaved my legs for the first time being 18, so that's really cute. They will kind of look like carpet, but it's fine. So I've got 15 minutes until my lecture starts. I still have to have breakfast. So I don't need to get going, so let's go have some breakfast. Also, outfit of the day, this top is from Zaffle. I actually have it tucked in, but oh, and that's untied itself too. I'm just, yeah, we're thriving today, and shorts are from Princess Polly, but let's go have some breakfast. Okay. 
Okay, so it is... No, I shouldn't be touching my face. So it's 8 minutes past 11 and my lecture is not online, which was supposed to start at 11 and go to 1. But I think I read somewhere yesterday, now that I think about it, that the lecture wasn't going to be like streamed and we had to read it ourselves, which is awesome. Loved that. Which is actually probably not too bad for me because my Wi-Fi is so bad. The other day I had to watch a lecture and it took me like three hours and it was only like an hour and a half long. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what week it is. I'm all over the place. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out and do my work and I will check in with you guys afterwards. Okay, so it turns out we just have to read through like the PowerPoint, like the lecture thing and then take our own notes from it. So I can do that in my own time so I'm not as rushed as I was initially to get that done. But in saying that I do have to plan my day out. Normally I would do that first thing in the morning, but since I obviously haven't had a chance to yet, I'm gonna do that now. So I've got all my journals and stuff here. I will probably go into more depth in this in another video, so I won't today, but I'll show you what they are. Gratitude journal, everyday diary, happiness planner, which is like a reflection on the day, so you do that morning and night, and then just an ordinary to-do list. I'll set up a time lapse so you guys can watch me do all that, and then I will get on to my marketing lecture. written in all my stuff and it's now half past 11 so I should really get on to this lecture and hopefully since I won't be listening to someone actually talking I'll be able to take the notes quite fast. It doesn't actually look that long to be- what the heck at the end it says group exercise. Who am I supposed to do my group exercise with? That's 55 slides. Some of them are like blank so they'll be easier as to get there and some of them I'll just be able to take screenshots on because I take my notes on my laptop. Time to get on with it. I'll see you guys in like an hour or so. <laughs> So it is 20, well it's like 19 minutes past one, we're gonna say it's 20 minutes past one and I just finished taking my notes, that took me legit like nearly two hours. So you can see what I'm talking about, this is all the notes that I took. Love that. It was just taking notes from the PowerPoint which took way longer than I thought it would but it's okay because I feel like it, I sunk in better, kind of, I don't know. I have a language and context lecture at two o'clock so that's in 40 minutes so I need to have some lunch before then but I don't know if that one's streamed or not as well. I know there's definitely notes and powerpoints and stuff up but I don't know if we can actually watch the lecture. I had a little bit of lunch I just had they're supposed to be like dinner rolls but mum made them but they're more like scones with like like basically cheese scones. I had a couple of those and a chocolate easter egg and some Doritos because like I was gonna make dumplings but I had those our last two days for lunch there was no bread and I was like uh so yeah not very nutritious at all and I'm kind of feeling tired as but like that's okay so I've got next lecture in nine minutes my brain is like yeah doing its thing trying to do its thing I'll check in with you guys after this next lecture <laughs> to three and my next lecture is done that also was not a video so i had to go through the powerpoint but that was only 15 slides and she gave us lecture notes alongside the actual lecture itself which was good because then you could like read the slides and then go to the lecture notes and like get a bit more information so i did about two pages of notes for that but i hand write my notes for that subject because in the actual lecture she used to give us handouts like fill in the blanks and stuff which is really good but for some reason she hasn't done that for this but that's fine that's me done like for what I'd normally do on a Monday but because of the whole having last week off like it's been a bit of a mess so I still have to catch up on my PR lecture from last week which she's some for some reason done in two parts I looked yesterday the first part's like 42 minutes and the second part it's supposed to be a two hour lecture so the next part must be like an hour and a bit so I also have to do a case study which we have to do every week for that but it's related to the topic that's discussed in the lecture so I have to go watch the lecture to find out about the topic. I'm pretty sure this week's government PR which is probably not too bad because it won't be too hard to find a case study on that considering like the state of the world right now. But yeah I'm gonna have like a break probably until three o'clock a 15-ish minute break and then be back at it again. All right it's three o'clock my break is up time to get back into this. Alrighty, I've finished the first part of my PR lecture and so now I've got another 43 minutes and 14 seconds to go. It's actually not that bad though, like I feel like them splitting it up into like two separate lectures makes it a little bit more 
engaging do I want to say that was like nearly two pages of notes so that was on like government PR and working for a political party and stuff like that so woo interesting as it's actually not that bad but I'm gonna have a little bit of a break and go and fill up my water bottle because it's empty and then I will come back and get started on the next 43 minutes so if you guys follow my Make Someone Smile account on Instagram, you would have seen, well it was last night, but when this video goes up it'll be like nearly a week ago. You would have seen that I made some foam wallpapers for you guys, so there's like three of them, so one's covered in sunshines, one just says Make Someone Smile, and then one's like a collage of like the phrase Make Someone Smile. But someone suggested that I change the background colour, which is the blue, to um, pink, and I was like, because I was thinking about doing that anyway, and I was like, mmm. If you want it, then yeah, I will. So I'm going to do that now and p upload those for everyone. But I said to her, I was like, while I'm here, like, is there any other colours you'd suggest? She said lilac, which is like my favourite colour. So I was like, yes. So I'm going to do that right now, but I'll set my camera up so you guys can watch me do it. So you kind of see how I do it. I get lots of questions about like how I'm doing this and my story templates, which we'll go on to in a second. But I do all of it on Photoshop. Let's do these wallpapers. <laughs> Just like that, that is all done. So that took me literally a minute and 20 seconds was what it was telling me like on the little um, counter thing for my video. Um, so yeah, all done, all exported. So now I'm gonna airdrop them to my phone and check them up in my story. And I will get back to you guys in a second. All right, so shout out to Jess. She was one who told me to do the different colors. So I just put a thing up in my story that says, if you want any other colors, let me know. If you guys follow me on Instagram or on my main account, you would have seen that I have been posting like little story templates each day. And I just, I don't know, I've been doing it because A, I enjoy doing it, and B, because I want you guys to, like, be positive about the situation, because it's a, it's a situation where it's quite easy to think quite negatively about it, and it's important that we don't think negatively about it, because it's not a situation we have control over, we just need to embrace it and kind of get on with it. And I was thinking this morning, like, how you manage and feel that the situation is entirely up to you. Like, if you want to have a negative outlook, go for it, I'm not going to stop you, but if you want to have a positive outlook, I'm here to help. That's what I'm doing. So I have been making these stories and I'm going to make another one today and I asked you guys to send through a few days ago on my story like what sort of story templates you want to see from me and I got quite a few from that so I made a bit of a list and I've gone through and thought okay this is what I could turn into a template this one I don't know how I could do it but I'll try and see what I can do and I think today I'm going to do like a daily schedule one so like a daily planner so it starts like 7 o'clock and goes till like 7pm or something so that that's basically like the working hours because after 7 o'clock like you guys you guys will understand you don't really do much that's kind of after dinner like you just want to chill out you want to do like not much so I want to do a planner from like a schedule from 7 till 7 because I I mean I would use this so yeah if it's going to help us be productive about these 28 days that we've got sitting at home doing well not much then I feel like it's going to be worth it so I will again set up a time lapse so you guys can see how I do this as well again on Photoshop and yeah let's go So according to my little camera thing, like little timer that took me 8 minutes and 8 seconds, so like, quick as. So I'll chuck it up on my story, and normally when I post on my story you guys would have seen. But I, the first story is like me explaining what it is, and then that is the, the thing that you screenshot, and the next one is like the benefits that you can get from using it. And then the next one, sometimes I might actually fill it out myself and show like an example, but obviously like, I mean they're pretty self-explanatory, it's just like a... I feel like you guys might be interested in how I would fill it out. Now I am going to put that on my story. If you guys haven't seen them and you want to go see them, there is a story highlight on my page, on my Instagram, on my main account, which is just, um, I think it's called Story Template. It's the orange one with a little pencil. Um, and that's got all of them in there as well as the descriptions and the benefits and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to do that and I will come and reevaluate afterwards because I don't know what I'm doing after this. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's all posted on my story. I was gonna actually fill it out as like a demonstration of what I've done today And then I realized I was vlogging. I was like if I do that then no one's gonna watch the vlog. So What's up? Thank you for watching the vlog. Owen presented me with this idea last night when I was on house party with him He said that his friend sent him 
this thing to make this TikTok. Her name's Dominique. I don't know if she watched my videos, but she does. Hi, Dominique. Um, but she was doing this video, like TikTok thing. We you know you get your friends involved and you send them a Snapchat and you get them to like reply and you like put them all together. Well, her one, I've, I, don't, I haven't actually seen it done before, but it's when you ask them to say yes or no and then put a question under it. So when you put it all together, it's like someone's saying like yes or no, but they don't know what the question is. I don't know, kind of hard to explain, but I really want to do that with my friends because last night I did one that's like, what am I the CEO of? So this one could be a little bit of fun. So I'm going to do that now. This is not as easy as little it would be. Two people have done it successfully. Two people don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> yeah, three people have done it successfully. <laughs> This is gonna be so good. When I finish it, I can't put it in here because I'll get copyrighted for the music. But if you wanna go check it out, my um, TikTok username is em.ma underscore Stevens. Not, oh, no, that's a lie. I do like TikTok, but I don't like how negative people are on there. So I'm trying to make it a bit more of a positive place. Yeah, trying, keyword. 6.33 and it is dinner time. I just took like my before photos for the Sweet It Just Shredder 8 week challenge. That is like the third time I've taken before photos for that challenge. The first time I got to 6 weeks, second time I did like for a week. And now this time it's going to be the full 8 weeks. And then I'm going to go on to the second book. Ooh, fried rice? Wait, what's the red thing? Where'd you get that from? Oh, that's fancy. All right, so dinner is done. I just made that TikTok that I was talking about, so if you wanna go see that, it will be over on my TikTok, so you can go check that out. But I am now gonna do my reading because The Bachelorette starts in 20 minutes and I wanna watch that and after that, I wanna be able to chill out. So I'm gonna do my reading. I've got five pages of textbook writing to do for management out of this beautiful book right here. Whoa, okay, so The Bachelorette finale just happened. I won't spill in case people haven't seen it or in case it's going overseas or I don't know, but <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's all done and I haven't really got much more to do tonight except I have to give myself my medication which is like my injection for my skin which obviously I'm not going to show on camera because not everyone wants to see that. And I've got a few more pages of reading to do and I need to edit this video that you guys are watching right now. I guess I'm going to close off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're from New Zealand, stay safe, stay in your bubble for the next four weeks guys otherwise we're going to have to do this whole thing and it's going to keep on going, going, going. So stay in your bubbles please. If you're not from New Zealand, keep on washing those hands, cover your mouth when you're coughing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we will get through this, guys. You just gotta be patient, follow the rules, and we'll be fine. Make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Shred it, sweat it to, oh my gosh, I cannot speak this morning. Oh, look, the sun's coming up. Ooh. <laughs>